is Cielo Waste Solutions the next big deal with its plastic to biodiesel conversion solutions? This stock closed at $0.312 during the last trading session, which was on the 23rd of February 2021. As you can see, we have uh, about 12,500 buys and uh, 5,000 uh, sh uh, shares, I mean, sales, uh, shares to be sold or to have them sold already in this uh, pre-market pre of uh, 21st, 24th of February 2021. It has a market cap of $102.2 million, 327.769 million shares outstanding. And uh, there's some piece of news here. And this came out yesterday, February the 23rd. It says, Chilo Waste Solutions uh, is, uh, is pleased to announce its first significant sale of renewable fuels with a purchase commitment uh, for 900,000 of renewable diesel at uh, 1.67 per liter Canadian dollars for an aggregate purchase price of uh, 1.5 million Canadian dollars, the, ag the aggregate purchase. The purchase will also have an option to, the purchaser will also have uh, an option to purchase another 600,000 um, liters of renewable d d diesel at the same price, uh, which is uh, 1.67 Canadian dollars for a period of six months. This purchase fee will be produced at the company's waste renewable solution facility in uh, Alberta, anticipated to be produced over approximately the next three to five months. The purchase fee will be held on site in storage tanks with Jado until Chielo reduces the sulfur content down to less than 15% uh, parts per million. Upon payment of the agreed uh, price anticipated, okay, um, the uh, broker of the uh, um, Chielo will issue uh, 3.75 million uh, purchase warrants to the third party who brokered the purchase, yes, okay. So, um, on the 26th, I believe that is when they will receive the upon payment of the agreement purchase price anticipated to be on the 26th of, of February 2021. So this is good. This is good. Uh, so it said the, the, the president CEO says we are excited to share this wall, this with the world, uh, our lucrative way to convert multiple waste streams, including plastics, into high grade renewables, renewable fuels. That we believe can command a premium price to both conventional diesel and biodiesel. And our anticipated costs of at approximately 0 0.9 US dollars per liter would allow for healthy margins, and we are confident we can produce reduce costs even further as a result of our commitment to increasing production levels as we progress. This is truly a milestone in the long history of Chielo as its shareholders. And uh, we are pleased to prove to the world we are here to stay and make a serious effort to help in the world uh, garage crisis. So let's see w whether we can um, find anything on this company that we can do a due diligence here. Um, Yes, okay. So we're here now, so let's see whether we can find anything on uh... Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, so we just leave it. There's nothing there on uh Chile um waste solutions. So we got the ticker right, CWSS. So yeah, okay. So that that's been that, that being said, uh, we go on down here and see what we can digest. For some reason, we uh, we can see we have a uh, we can see the stock evidently is strongly bullish, and uh, obviously it is trading at a very okay. 
trading at a premium to its 10 day, uh, 10 day and 20 day short term trend lines and also obviously at a huge a bigger premium as well to its 20 day trend line week for some reason we can't see the 20 day 200 day trend line on this uh, chart for the moment uh, so it's definitely the stock is strongly bullish uh, within a longer term trend line evidently and then um, uh, it's we can see the MACD histogram is above zero no doubt about that and it's also it's MACD is above the signal line you know ahead way ahead of it you know it's at 0 0.1 you know whereas uh, the signal line is uh, somewhere else below that so we can see that momentum for Chielo is strongly bullish the 14 period slow stochastic escalators above 80 the level which many analysts call overbought this means that investors have been actively purchasing shares and driving the price higher. No doubt about that. We can see that here. Yeah, and uh, the unbalanced vol volume indicator definitely is uh, also, even though it has tipped over of, of, of late a bit, but it's also definitely um, bullish. And um, yeah, it's, it's bullish. The slow volume indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than, than sellers. But at the same time, it's a, it's a volatile stock. It's um, yeah, it's highly risky as well, you know, in as much as it is as it is uh, coming up with these fundamentals and uh, you know, you know, fundamentals that are really, really potent. You know, you can't uh, you can't beat that at all. You know, you can't. You know, so um, it's definitely really interesting. You know, um, but of, of late, we have never seen the stock uh, trade. Um, the last time it uh, traded below all of its short-term trend lines was actually um, early this month, as a matter of fact. At this time, it was trading at um, 0 0.6 cents, you know. So, since that time, the stock has, um, you know, es es escaped, you know, only pulling back slightly uh, twice. This was on the 11th. It pulled back, yes, on the 11th of February and also pulled back again on the... 18th of February, and not, not not very long ago, about uh, last um, about a week ago, there about and, you know since that time it has escaped, pulled back again yesterday the 23rd. You know we are likely to see yet another extension from here. You know so you know going from going by this, what what do we expect? You know just by uh, looking at this, um, you know if you probably got got into the stock when assuming you were okay yeah, you got into the stock when it first escaped and reached this 18 cents price and then um, since that time it uh, pulled back to um, 16 cents so at least a hundred percent extension has already since okay what would that be you know so well, if you want to do that, then uh, well, there'll be a small amount of extension from here if you want to use those prices. But um, um, I'm not tempted to use that. You know, this is uh, the stock is. Uh, you know, I think what's going on here is that um, people are definitely in this stock for the long run, but at the same time, also it also attracts the short-term players. We can see them playing their hands here. They take the money out and bring it back in. They take money, money out and bring it back in. They have done that again in the last session. The next time again, they are probably going to extend this, 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 this uh, winning uh, upward streak by even more. There's a good chance that can happen if that is anything to go by. So we have how many sessions here? One, two, okay, one, two, two sessions. These are the all, all these are called in two sessions, and then again. They remove their money again, and they are probably going to come back. Uh, you know, um, if not, if if not, uh, the session of this to the fourth, it could be uh, some other time. You know, but um, this stock, I don't think it's coming back to you know this this sort of levels anytime soon. It is moving up and up and up. So if you want to get involved in this stock, you know, by all means do so, but just be careful. You know, in as much as it has the tangible the tangible fundamentals right there i mean what i'm currently looking at now is you know the stock can easily be swallowed up by exxon mobil dow chemical and you know, name it you know that's what is likely going to happen to the stock you know the company has uh, you know you know they have the potency they have 
you know, they're talking what we need, what we want to hear, and they are already selling. They're already selling the, the, the fuels. They're already selling the fuels. You know. So uh, they they are ripe for. I mean, easily, easily going to uh, attract um, um, acquisition offers here and there. You know. So if you want to get involved, you know, by all means, just gain right now with a, with a small amount of money, not your whole savings just a small amount of money buy a handy number of it of it of it all you know not nothing more than um, i would say nothing more than in this case maybe nothing more than maybe let's just say 200 dollars. nothing more than that just get in there and see how it goes you know this is this talk is for the long term don't start crying if it moves down if it uh, retraces tomorrow it's it's people who people are here you know mocking up mopping up uh, gains here and there you know, and they are, you know, you know, that's what they're doing. But don't be disheartened by that, you know. So if you want to jump in right now, by all means do so. It has just uh, pulled back a, a bit, you know. But 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 when the bell opens today, the 24th of February, it might, uh, you know, who knows where it's going to go. You know, this stock has everything going for it, you know. So, like I said, just a small amount of money and keep some on the sidelines just in case it, it uh, retraces. And then you'll be able to buy more. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, pushing our, subscri our subscriber count past 1,000 and growing. So keep subscribing and subscribing. Our target is is 10,000. I know it sounds really ambitious. We are since we are at the only 1,200. Okay, but uh, keep supporting us. Thank you very much.